my wolf pack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Legends Arceus playthrough. We've got to be near like episode 20 now. In fact, it, mu it must be like episode 19 or 20. I've lost count, but we are now in Snowpoint Temple and apparently we have got to... Um, you've got some puzzles that we've got to solve. So, um, yeah, here are some... This, um, Patriots is a rock pattern on the statue's chest. Okay, so I see... Okay, so, oh gosh, 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 oh, I didn't see you there. I did not see you there. Um, yeah, we're gonna send you in, and we're gonna bulldoze it. Right, okay, it's bulldoze. There we go, it does half, good. Hypnosis, oh no! There we go, take it out. Yikes! Um, I don't know how I get around this thing. Oh, I have Ominous Wind on this, don't I? So Ominous Wind might actually take it out. Yes, nice. That's what we like to see. That's everything we like to see. Um, what I am going to do, though, is get some revives going. So Samurai, in fact, I'm going to revive everyone. But I'm only going to fully heal Samurott. So I think... Well, actually, no. To be fair, I've got loads of potions. Um, high potion? No, I don't need that. I've got loads of potions that I made. It's crazy to think that, like, less than 48 hours ago... In fact, about 48 hours ago, I started playing this game. And now... Like, we are so far through it. And I've recorded, like, so much of it. Right, so, you... Steel pattern. Okay, so you've got a steel pattern. You've got... Okay, so you've got a steel pattern as well. Ice, and then you probably have a rock as well then. Yeah, okay. So... What do I have to do? Look where the statues are looking. That was the advice I was given. Um. Oh. Oh, wait, there's a Pokemon over there. <laughs> like, okay. Can see it through the wall. Can I interact with this thing? What do I have to do? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, it brought the gold bat over. No, don't do that. That's not nice. I'll take on the bronze on. That's it. <laughs> okay, I'm not taking, not taking on a gold bat as well. Jeez, what do you think? I'm made of money? No, no, no. Um, we're gonna use strong style here. Nice. I'm not going to battle this gold bat. So we can go up or we can go down. I know it says to go up. But I want to explore down. Oh, there's a big door here. Okay. Um. Wow. This is such a huge area. Like, wowza. Like, oh, I'm just in awe of the size of this. You think about, imagine this in real life. Like, that would just be incredible. Okay, so you've got a rock pattern on you. Guessing you've got eye. Oh, no, you've got steel. So, rock, steel, ice. So do I have to touch them in a certain order? Three panels fit in the door. Each panel has a pattern carved into it. Um, where were the statue's gaze? Which panel do you press first? Uh, I think it was rock. 
then steel, then ice. That's how you do it. That's how we do it. You know, I am just such a good influence. Right, okay. So this one, we've got ice. Ice, rock, then steel, assumably. Ice, rock, steel. Oh, and then there's another one in here. It's ice, rock, steel. Ice, rock, steel, rock. Ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. Right. Ice. Rock. Steel, rock, ice. Yeah, that's what we do. That's what we do, dude. That's what we do. Right, okay, so we've got another one now. Oh, right, so. You're pointing to this one. Where's... You're pointing... So that one, okay. Ow. So I think there's gonna oh there's one over here. Sneaky. A little sneaky sneak. Um steel. So steel ice rock, sir. Steel ice rock. Then you're pointing to this one. So steel, ice, rock, ice, sir, I, sir, sir, is, sir, ISR, sir, is, R. So, right, sir. Is R. Right, sweet. Okay, I feel like that's probably the last one. Judging by the fact they've probably gone into a cutscene. Oh no. It just took a while. Oh. What is that? What actually is that? That routes. That's a Gallade. So what we are going to do is we are going to destroy that of our Star Raptor. Although it's probably going to be really fast. 70! And it has Thunder Punch. You know, um, we done goofed. We did big dumb goof. Um, let's send out Quillfish, although... Realistically, my aim here is just to go, nope, <laughs> and just run away. <laughs> just like, no, nope, I am not dealing with that. Level 70, wowza. Okay. There we go. Back blowing it all the way. Probably going to see like an um, Alpha Guard far up here as well or something. Okay, so that looks like it's savvy. Right, hello. I guess I've been caught. So we're nearly done. That's no fun. <laughs> hey, remember my clairvoyance? Show me something else. I saw you flying on very Do you think that'll come to pass? Um, I'll make sure it does. Do you want me to battle you now? Well, however your future turns out, flying on very isn't easy. If you really want to be able to fly high in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. Gonna take us on. Not yet. I haven't got cold feet. I just need to revive my mons. Um, 
So Star Raptor needs to be revived. Uh, I'm going to use my Oran Berries for the healing. Just spam that button to heal them up. Because that's what we do. Uh, Slug you, might as well heal you up just in case we need you. I mean, we are definitely underleveled. But I definitely need to decide on a final team soon enough. Because if we don't, then... Um, not going to reread through it, just because I'm just going to go straight into the battle. Yeah, there we go, right. Are you going to spend, like, multiple months with me? Get ready, because here come Rhyperion, Magmortar, and Electra. At the same time? This is the really the wrong Pokemon to have as my lead. Um, at all three at the same time. Oh my god. Okay, what level? They're all level 50 as well. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Right, I'm going to have to strong style. And I'm going to have to do that into... Oh, Magmortis level 30. and Okay, so I'm not going to strong style. I'm going to Agile. Oh, wait. If I Agile into Magmortar... I probably should have done it into Electivire, actually, but that's fine. Oh my god, it didn't kill it. I, should, I shouldn't have done that. Electivire's looking around good. Oh, they're looking around. It's nice. Oh, we avoided the attack. Nice. Right, if I Agile style... Am I fast than anything? What if I Agile style this? Doesn't matter. If I Agile style... Right, we're going to get rid of the Magmortar. Thunder Wave, not good. Thunder Wave, not good. Agile style, any rock type attack will kill me. Uh, for sure. Yeah, okay. So, next out. Gabite can deal with the uh, Electivire. Right, Bulldoze on the Electivire. Nice, okay. Okay. High horsepower, that could probably kill me. Doesn't, okay. Right, I'm going to fight. And I'm going... Oh, actually, hold on. Do any of these attacks make it so I can... Go f with two attacks. Right, let's... In that case... Use strong style Dragon Claw. I mean, it's going to do next to nothing. Whoa, wow, that did more than I thought. It was a crit, that's why. Agile style. High horsepower. Here we go. Okay, so. With that, two of our mons are down. Now, considering we had to deal with all three of them at once, that was quite, quite the intensity. Quite the intensity. Uh, a water pole should kill this thing. I am going to strong style it just in case. But yeah, that is... Like, three on one is very rude. Very rude. Also, I love that she had, like, three of the, like, um, new evolution Pokemon that came out in BDSP. Wow, you caught us and beat us. You won all our games so far. The Bravery Hour still wants to get to know you even better. Up to the roof we go. I guess that's that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's sprint. Run, 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 run. Burp, burp. Alright, Bravery Eye, why not just that moonlight like, straight for yourself? That that wasn't what I was expecting. I've not Oh, I had to battle one of them. Yeah, I had to battle Asaluna. Um how about we strong style rock slide you? Because you're gonna be flying psychic, aren't you? There we go. That's how I like to see it happen. That's what I like to see happen. Yes, yes, yes. Mm 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 mm. Girl, I can't believe you very, very lost. But that's that. Thanks for playing with me. Guess I'll head home now. Bye. Okay.
Um, wait. <laughs> I was kidding. Play along with me on your flute. I should have literally been the uh, the guy. I should have been the guy that does this. Am I going to get a mind plate? I've already got a mind plate, I think. Am I going to get like the flying plate? What plate have I got now? Give me the plate. The sky plate, nice. Okay, so that's 9 of 18. Although I don't know if they'll kept it at 17. I know they did. And they made the pixie plate, but I don't know if it's been integrated. I don't know if it's integrated into BDSP, because obviously you don't use the plates very often. Um, I never play Ubers, so. Yeah, thanks, Savvy. So Adamant's up here as well. Sure. Have Midnight Fly Rounds with should be fun for Braveberry. Yeah, I'm glad. Well, where people and Pokemon live and work together, huh? Tell me, why do you think the lightning that comes from the rift will cause these, cause these frenzies? Do you think the almighty sin is ang Sinnoh's anger? angry? Or do you think there's a trial that's putting us through? If it's a trial, if we prove ourselves worthy, and we call the last noble Calm Avalug, then the rift ought to close, right? Even if the one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, not one of us who's been living here in history for ages now. How come you're playing... All wise. I thought you weren't a big thinker, Adamant. Hush, Savvy. I can feel history on the move. As far as I can see, the one ushering in this new era is you. So if, you, if I stay with you, someday I might get to meet Almighty Sino myself. Question is, does listening to Adamant fascinate you? Or bore you to tears, hmm? <laughs> anyway, Midnight, it's time for you to go soar with Braveyard. If you jump from way up here, Braveyard can take you gliding just about anywhere. Okay. But don't forget to get the Eternal Ice. That's why you need to break very in the first place, right? Okay, so let's go and get that. Avalon's Legacy is down there. Okay, I see it. Now, go get a feel for flying with Ravery. When you're done soaring the skies and want to land, just ask him to dive. Okay, so I'm assuming we're going to get told what to do. With Bravery, you can fly high up in the sky and explore the different areas of history from the air. You can summon Bravery over using the plus button whenever you may be. Uh, you can also press the A button if you're falling from some height to summon him. Okay, so I'm assuming there's going to be a button for dash. So... Can we, are we, I assume, are we flying or are we falling? If we're only gliding. Or are we going, like, wherever we want? Will we ever, like, land? To be fair, this place is huge. That dive didn't quite work out. <laughs> okay, that one's not working out either. <laughs> right. Do you think if I, like... Oh, God. Do you think if I press plus from here, I'm going to die? Okay, so you can just keep on calling it while you're close to the ground. There we go. So, I'm investigating. Oh, my Arceus phone is telling me something. It's beeping. You obtained a piece of eternal ice. Type of ice beloved by the Lord of the Tundra. Garrick, oh, how did you get up here? At last, the summit is conquered. And I see you made it too. Wow. Blue Dance this place and obtained the Eternal Lights, did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? You gave Garrick the Eternal Lights. 
I do have to respect the effort you're putting. I may still have my doubts weighing on you, weighing on my mind, but I'll make my necessary preparations so you can face the Lord Aslog. Avalog. <laughs> like, meet me at the Ice Peak Arena. Now, don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. I'm gonna leap off. Till next we meet. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna leap off. Although I do need to know where I've actually got to go. Oh, this way. Whee! So let's dash. I wonder if it, like, will go up at all. Okay, so... There's a random machoke here. If that's just going to ignore me, I'm going to throw a great ball at it. Oh, it's Bolo. Okay, um... How are my team looking? My team is almost dead. So I think what I'm actually going to do... Oh, I'm not going to do that, apparently. Uh, what if it isn't midnight? What a pleasure, finding a familiar face, or any face, in this far corner of, uh, of the islands. Kenser and Garrett, an order of sword caps. Um, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalok. What'd you say? Interesting a bit of gossip? Yeah, go on then. And why wouldn't you be? So Avalok, yes. The fifth of Husuwa's nobles. That's he is. And you know that, what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told. Not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles. Wow. <laughs> and he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take on? What's more, apparently the Avalog of old could uh, be up to 100 feet tall. Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Oh, you'll be alright. You can have... <laughs> you'll... You just have to eat some slow sword caps, and then give your training your all. Nothing better for building muscle than that. Onward now, to the arena. Hmm, yes, well. I didn't want to see that below, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. So I suppose my freezing my freezing digits, I'll be off now. Okay. Right, I'm going to go up to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um... Let's go with Sneezler. Um, oh, that's a Alpha Machamp. I'm assuming I'm supposed to go up here. Yeah, this way, apparently. So I'm going to go up to the sea. Going to go up to the sea. And, but we're not going to do Avalog yet. Um, or we might... We might have a go. But I... I'm not going to like be like, oh my god, I'm putting in all the effort into this. We might just see what it looks like. Actually, do we save that to the next episode? I feel like we save that to the next episode. So we are to quell Avalok, as you wish. In the end, the strength of the feelings worn out. Maybe a real strength comes from the way that you walk among both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose I'd better get to work making those bombs using the Eternal Ice. I've heard how they are made, and with muscles like mine, it will only take a moment. And there you have it. If you truly wish to quell Avalog, then walk on. Path lies before you. But know that Avalog will hurl chunks of ice to you without relent. You'll need unrivaled dodging ability. Maybe later. I'm going to do some grinding up first and stuff. Um, and I think this one's going to be a short episode because I want to do the grinding up it off screen. Um, what we will actually do is we will go back to um, the camp. So we'll get back to the camp, we'll do our, get our Pokédex and everything done. 22 Pokémon, yeah. Um, most of them Bergamites. Berg Bergamites? Bergamites. Um, nice 13,000 Pokédala bills. That's helpful. Uh, it seems you've made some new observations. Let's have a look then. Hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokédex with new data. So I don't think we mastered, oh, we mastered Haunter. We haven't mastered anything else yet. There is one that's a... There's... Okay, the Gabite. So... 430. Yeah, that's a little bit. Um, obviously, we're going to have to do a lot more to get our ranks up um, to level 7. Yeah, so... 
Um, we are going to return to the village now. I'm going to finish off this episode. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. We'll be back next time. We'll straight away take on Avalog. But yeah, that's going to be all. So I'll see you soon.